welcome back to the testing of the MT-232. Uh, this morning, I'm out here on uh, my field across the road, and I've got the six-foot finishing mower on, and we're just mowing this field again. We're up to almost 76 hours on the tractor now, and uh, we're just trying to put some more good hard hours on it to try to get up to 100. Alright everybody, so yesterday I mowed three of my fields with the finishing mower. We put uh, six hours on the tractor, but today I want to try something different. What I'm going to try to do is mow my yard, at least as much as I can of it, with this finishing mower. Now since this has the R4 tires on it, I'll go ahead and try this. If it had the Ag tires, I want it because it would just tear up the yard. But uh, yeah, we're going to try because the grass is high. I never thought I'd be mowing in air conditioning with the radio on, but here we are. <laughs> wow, that is a nice looking cut. This ain't going to take any time at all. <laughs> well, the grass is kind of wet and uh, my belts are slipping a little bit on the uh, finishing mower, so I got, I got to drive a little bit slower. But it's doing a really nice job cutting the grass. It's doing better than the Craftsman mower I've been using the whole time we've lived here. Well, it's raining, but I don't care because I'm in a cab. I'm going to try to finish this yard and see what happens. If it gets any worse. Alright, so I got the whole yard mowed, except for my bank here. So we're going to see how well it handles this bank. gear. I'm going to start climbing up here. This isn't the steepest part yet. We're up to the beech tree. The beech tree is loaded. We'll be ready here soon. This is steep. Now one thing I've noticed on here, this thing holds back really well when I let off the pedal. Let me show you. Okay. I want to steep, let off the pedal. And as you can see, the tire is barely moving. I don't have my foot on the brake or nothing. So I like I like how it does that in both gear. Oh, I'm really pushing it here. This is just to show you how good low gear holds back. Okay. Down here at the bottom, right up close to the van. And then up we go. This is a good tractor. I'm impressed. All right, just finishing up up here at the barn. And that'll be pretty much the whole yard mode. I'll definitely have a lot more weed eating this time, but it, it did a good job. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in those last few clips, you saw some crazy stuff I was doing with the finishing mower and the hills that I was using this tractor on and I've just been trying to test it out if you're new we have been testing out this MT-232 uh, hydrostatic pilot tractor this isn't a prototype this is a pilot tractor it's one of 10 that were set, sent out in the United States and I believe they sent out 10 of them in South Korea as well to be tested and the goal is to get 100 hours on these tractors in one month so that they can work out the kinks. So we've been doing all kinds of stuff with it. I've taken it up some steep hills. I uh, put an IBC tote full of firewood. I lifted it up with the front end loader, uh, ran the five foot tiller on unbroken ground uphill, handled it just fine. And uh, 
I think the longest I ran it straight was seven or eight hours one day without shutting it off. And it's performed very, very well. All right, so at first glance, you're gonna notice the color. And I, one of you guys did, I forget who it was. The LS tractors we're used to seeing are sky blue. This color here is deep sky blue. I'm sorry, it's not completely clean, but I like this color better. I like how it's darker blue. And then just the new look on the front end of it here with the grill and the headlights. And uh, if you notice here on the front end loader, it's got the third function uh, hydraulic strand. So if you wanted to put a grapple on this tractor, you can. Uh, I think that will be a, an option whenever it's time to start uh, buying these. The bucket, I mentioned it in one of my videos, uh, is a nice size for this tractor. And I just measured it. It's 65 inches wide, so it, it's a really nice size because I did do some digging with it on a mudslide. So while we're talking about digging, uh, this is a new front end loader that they are making now. And while I was using it, I did not notice any weakness in it at all. It did a very, very good job. And it's been, uh, it's been fun to use. One thing that's different about it, I noticed, is the the gauge here to know when your bucket's level mine the very end of the rod means that your bucket is level with the ground this one you're right here on this little bend that lets you know that you're you're level with the ground it's good for scooping up gravel or dirt that's something different and then something else you probably noticed for a while are the rims are gray now and that's how it's going to be for this series and I like I like the color scheme here. I like the gray with the black tires and then the black accents on the deep sky blue. I like it. So another feature here on the rims is the valve stem guard. And that's just to keep you from ripping out your valve stem. I guess they've had uh, guys do that. And that is on all four tires. It's a little bit different on the front. But that's the, to keep the valve stems protected. And I know I mentioned this in another video, but look at the sides of this fuel tank. And uh, I did get a guesstimate from uh, the guys at LS, and they're telling me it's around 11.4 gallons, which that's what I thought was somewhere around 11, just from gauging how much I had to fill up and how much I was putting in it. And then to fill it up on this model here, the cap is right here. And what I like about it with these stupid uh, gas diesel cans I got now, this plastic, is thick so that you can push down on that dumb tab on those gas or fuel cans and let your fuel go in there i like how it's real thick and, and strong of course it's got a filter in there too then you got your uh, tail lights here these are leds the front lights are leds the cab lights on these are not but they're going to be every every light on here is going to be leds whenever they start coming out but over here on the other side, you got your windshield washer fluid, which you got windshield washer fluid here on the back and the front. And uh, I'll show you that when we get inside. And then your three point arms with this uh, adjustable uh, turnbuckle, I guess. I love these. And then these are the extenders which I love them too. It makes it so much easier to hook up an implement. And uh, I'll talk more about the backhoe hookup on these uh, two brackets here. I'll talk about that when we get inside. And then your hydraulic dipstick right here, the filler. Okay, now also on this fender is a stop button. And what that's for is when you're sitting up here on the backhoe, something goes wrong, Reach around, hit that button, and it'll stop the engine. But if you're sitting in the tractor and you're sitting on the seat and there's weight on the seat, if someone comes by and hits that, it doesn't work. So I like that feature as well. You got your hazard lights here. And then again, you got these lights here in the front. They will be LEDs. Another windshield wiper with the windshield washer fluid. And then your mirrors. And what's nice about the mirrors is when you hit a branch, it just goes, sits against the window, doesn't break nothing. And it goes both ways. 
if you go the other way and it just sets right up here in these little notches ask me how i know <laughs> all right so let's open up the hood here and it's assisted all right so here's your computer uh don't get that wet and then uh air filter and i like where this battery's at very easy to get to lots of times they put them in places where it's hard to get them in and out but i like where that's at here is the uh, air conditioner condenser and i've learned every time i mow i have to most of the time i have to stop and blow that out because once that gets plugged up the air conditioner doesn't work as well just cool wear not cold then of course it's got a removable radiator screen that you can clean but i've just been airing it out because there's so much of a gap there you can, you can really get in there and blow that out and there's your whole regen system and we've done two regens on it now and we're sitting at 82 hours and the regens are only lasting a half hour both times and this is one of the differences in this series this is a 32 horsepower yanmar diesel engine so that's that's why the regen's a little bit different a different uh, setup and to get it started and all that because this is a this is a yanmar it's not an ls engine so there's your air conditioner condenser uh fuel cooler and then radiator screen and radiator and coolant and fuel filter and we're going to do a video on that and show if it's in a bad spot or not because I, I know it's big and i know it's right here behind the axle so we're going to do a video testing that and then right here the oil filter and the dipsticks right there the yellow dipstick okay so moving inside got lockable door handles here and then you just push to to get out and then your forward and reverse pedals for the hydrostatic models your key and then here's the floor i i mean looked at that so that looks like that'll be easy to clean i've just been leaving this cardboard on here since it's not mine uh, the seat is adjustable forward and uh, backwards you can pull it up and then the steering wheel is adjustable with this uh, lever here here's your throttle there's your regen stop and start buttons okay so you got three ranges high medium and low there's your brake which can be set to individual if you want uh, four-wheel drive and then differential lock and then you got your hazard light your blinkers and running lights right there so here's a joystick that feels comfortable and it's in a good spot really for me I'm just resting my arm against here and then then running it and then this is the electric throttle uh, here is the PTO to start it you turn and then to, to turn it off just push down here is cruise control and what you'll do you'll push on your forward button and you got to push it at a certain spot and you push this button and you'll feel the magnet click you'll hear it and feel it and then it'll set your cruise control and then this one here is linked pedal so what that means is i can uh, have my tractor idle down and then press the link pedal button and it'll come up with a light saying link pedal and then whenever you step on your forward pedal and you want to go it revs the engine up to wherever how far you push down on the pedal so that would be good for whenever you're driving out to your field or driving down a road and then whenever you let off the pedal it just goes back down to a low idle again and here we have our rear implement lift lever and i, I just left this plastic on there because again this isn't mine just been trying to keep it nice and then it's got uh, one of these i call them stoppers so whenever you get it set on the ground where you want it you can just you can uh, move these around and then tighten it up and then whenever you push down it's only going to go to to that stopper 
12 volt charger a little cubby hole back here that i've been putting my drones and stuff these windows all open back here in the back the back window opens too okay right here is a light i have to turn it on to, to get the light to come on here there it is there's the light let me turn that off so you can hear me uh cab lights front and back and then the windshield wipers and then parking brake is down there just pull back on it it's got a button on the end okay then a cell phone holder right there a cup holder right there again this window opens here on the side and then they have a cover over this to keep you from spilling your drink on the radio and air conditioning and heater controls and then it's got a usb charger a usb plug-in and it's got uh, radio and bluetooth it's got an sd card i don't know i don't know what all this is for and then your air conditioning and heat and i've tried both and both of them work very well the air conditioning will freeze you out of here as long as that condenser is blown uh, free of uh, debris and boy i could use the air conditioner right now but i'm trying to keep the the sound quiet for you so you can hear me uh you're probably going to ask why did they put all this stuff back here it's hard to reach well the reason is for more headroom see there's a lot of headroom in here so you've got your vents up here and you got one on each side and then you got two speakers back here so th this gives you more headroom and for me, I'd rather have the headroom because it is tight getting in and out of this thing because it's only a 32 horsepower tractor. So having the headroom helps to get in and out and you only mess around with this stuff every once in a while. So I'd rather have it back here anyway, if it was me. Okay, so let's start it up and you can see the dash. All these lights. And then what I like about it it's got the main hour meter here and then this hour meter tells you each time you run it how long you've ran it now here's that electric throttle and they say that's good for when you're going into a pile I tried using it in one of my previous videos and I didn't really see a difference so I don't know if this is going to be an optional feature or it's, they're going to get rid of it entirely. I don't know that yet. And then when you open up the doors, on both sides it's got these lights to light up where you step. And they stay on for 20 or 30 seconds when you start or when you open the door and when you shut down. And then up here on both sides are the cab filters for the air conditioning. And then there's your radio antenna. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of numbers here, but uh, like I said, the diesel uh, tank is 11.4 gallons around there. Uh, the loader lift for the 32 horse is a little bit more than 2,200 pounds for the front end loader. I don't have the three point hitch. And then uh, LS is fine tuning this stuff as we test them and so the specifications may change before they actually come out in production so i asked is this going to go across to all the the series of tractors ls tractors and they said no just for right now it's going to be the mt2 series only and then maybe in the future they'll change the rest of them the same way they've changed these with the new collar and a new design but for now it's just the mt2 series that are doing these changes so that's all with the tractor. So let's go inside of the garage and I'll show you the new backhoe. All right, looking at the backhoe, this is a 12 inch bucket and the teeth there are removable. And then we have the mechanical thumb. I believe that's gonna be an option. Uh, and then as far as the backhoe goes, it's solid, thick uh, steel, good frame. Uh, and then of course this is where you'll lock it whenever you pull back it's got this latch here it goes around this pin and then to let it go you just pull it back 
And then uh, we got the pin here to keep it from going side to side. And then you put that right here when you're running it. And then keep it from moving side to side. Just put it in there. And then the outriggers here. These ones here, this is going to be an option. They have rubber pads. But they're going to have different types that you can get. Uh, then looking up here. Uh, the step, if you notice, when this outrigger's down and this hose is here, this step, you can't hardly use it. So what they are going to do, they're going to move this step farther back so you can use it better. And then they are uh, taking everyone's advice and putting uh, handles on the back of either one side of the cab or both sides of the cab. I'm not sure yet. So here's your platform for now. I don't know if they're going to expand it or not. And then uh, you get your controls, outrigger controls, comfy seats. Uh, and then here's your hydraulic plug-in, your female end, and then the male end. But here, the connection, well, I'm going to make a video on that. I want to make mention of this. This is not a three-point backhoe. This is a four-point backhoe that mounts directly to the tractor. So that does mean you have to take off your three-point arms, but we'll do a video on it and I'll show you It's not that big of a deal The reason they did this is to make it more solid and that there isn't as much play because that top Piece on the backhoe mounts here and then the bottom Mounts down there in that hook on both sides So we'll go over that in a video coming here soon. So there's the backhoe now there has been one issue with the backhoe and I have not been the only one to find this. Uh, I talked to a dealer up in New York. He found the same thing. Uh, once the hydraulic oil gets hot, the backhoe starts losing power. So what they're doing, they're going to add a hydraulic oil cooler onto the tractor and that should fix that. So th that's what's going on with this testing. We're finding the problems with them right now. And then LS is trying to change them to make them better. And just like with the step, trying to get on. And then the handles on the back of the cab to help you get on and off. They're, they're trying to make some changes because, like I said, the new things on the tractor. The collar, the design, the front end loader, and the back hose, and the Yanmar diesel engines. Those are basically the new features on these uh, MT2 series. And they're trying to get the bugs out now and uh, get it all fixed to where it's uh, user friendly and it's going to be a good tractor for you overall though the tractor runs great i've had a good time with it so far and uh, i'm looking forward to getting these last few hours in just so i know that i made it <laughs> but uh, you won't be seeing these probably on the website or in at dealers until the beginning of the year that's what they're shooting for they want to start selling them there at the beginning of 2024 so right now we're still testing and we're going to be done with that I think around July 10th and then they can get the bugs fixed and then start producing them and getting them ready for the new year. So there's the tractor for you in a nutshell. I know it took longer than expected because I, I didn't get the specifications very quickly and I didn't get all of them. I know that and if I get any more I'll keep sharing that with you. But in the meantime, we're going to keep testing this tractor. I got some different tests that I want to do with it. And uh, we're going to get going and make it to 100 hours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thanks for watching.